present your strict assertion of this notion of inalienable rights. You cannot have a functioning modern hum human society, Roger. You can't. You just There's no way. Point. You just took my point. <laughs> hold on, and, hold on. Inalienable, inalienable rights does not mean this. This is the problem that a lot of people have. Inalienable rights does not mean you get to go into society and just do whatever you want to. Clearly, jails prove that notion. The jails are filled with people who clearly have gone against the mandates of her in terms of the laws prescribed through legislatures and local counties and things like that. So it does not mean you get to do whatever you want to because no society would accept any person who, 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 who upsets the fabric of, of society in a, um, in a, on a basic level. What it's saying is, as it relates to this particular type of society that was different from other societies, because again, coming into this experiment, majority of the societies that were around were monarchical, monarchical based societies where the kings and queens had absolute rule. This changed that paradigm. So, but, because it changed that paradigm, it puts more of the onus on the citizen to carry themselves in a way that's not socially damaging to the fabric of the whole setup. That's, you know, inalienable rights in, in terms of being able to have the freedom of speech. Because, you know, something like marriage, for example, the marriage, the state does not own marriage. Before the American uh, state came into existence, marriage was in existence since the dawn of time. So they don't give you a right to get married. They're, if you go get a license through the state, then you're using the privilege of the state's apparatus to get married. But you don't have to go through the state to get married. You can go through your religious institutions and get married. So that's an inalienable right. Your right to contract is an inalienable right. That, that is an inalienable right right there. So because, because that's an inalienable right, you can't have laws that abridge or prevent your inalienable right to contract. That's what the courts are all about, to enforce the contracts. Right. So because this because this particular ruling didn't it's a because because again a man and a woman coming together made a child. How does the state get to impose its will on a contract between a man and a woman? They can't. They shouldn't be able to. Because they came together and contracted together, not the state. So if a man says, Hey Ro, I don't want my child to be Kill. the state has to come up with some kind of mechanism to address this issue. Now, the issue beforehand was that it wasn't, it, it really wasn't an issue because it was illegal. But now they have this, this stuff in limbo because you're not taking into consideration the other side. And if that's the case, that means you will have millions of women across this country if they get pissed off at a guy, they're like, well, I'm just gonna have abort him, abort the baby to hurt him. You can't do that. Cause then now you're gonna have some men who are gonna say, you know what? Since the state didn't protect my interest, I'm going to get some payback on that. And that's not what you wanna have either. The state, the state overreached on this particular issue specifically because it's such a, a, a volatile issue. This is something that needs to be, this is something that politicians have to stand on and get this done. This is what they have to, they have to show their hand and, and show where they stand. And, and historically, even coming out of the, uh, the, 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 the system in terms, cause I took a, um, a crime and law, a early crime and law and punishment class in college. And we studied this. And much of the punishment during that time was against women committing infanticide. So even coming out of that experience, and, and as far as jurisprudence, it was not something that was enshrined that a woman had a right to do. Roe v. Wade completely changed 
hundreds of years of precedent that came through the British jurisprudence, which influenced the American jurisprudence set up right now. Okay. Now I, I got to give it to top tier, but that those are some great points. And I want to touch on some of that later, but go ahead. Top tier. I'm, I'm sorry. Truth teller. Truth teller. The top tier was here earlier. <laughs> go ahead. Truth teller. This conversation is very interesting. You got bits of law. It's a theory. Bits of uh, sociology going on in it. Uh, things I think we need to take into account. First of all, there's no such thing as um, a right. It's you you breaking up, truth tellers. You breaking up. Unfortunately. Sorry. You may have to dip out and come back. Uh, give me a second. Now I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, because uh, Dark Knight mentality says Ra, exactly, Rael, Roger, all due respect, you're missing. Excuse me, you're misusing inalienable rights. It's not a hall pass to do whatever you want, and we never said that. The right stops when you damage someone else or their property. You don't have a right to damage someone else or their property, but the thing is, you can't say that a person has rights. When it's comfortable for you, but they don't have rights when it's uncomfortable for you. That's it. You you gotta you have to make a decision, period, on if you believe people have rights or not. And you know, um, there should be some agreement made between the man and the woman because there's a lot of men who wanted a child and they lost their child because a woman simply decided to get abortion. And a lot of times it was, it, there was plenty of time where there was just a woman being petty and spiteful. So she just wanted to end the pregnancy to mess with the dude. Just, it, it is what it is, you know, but, the, but then again, you got women who are going after child support, which is what a, mo a man earning money. And now you want to force him to pay money to a kid. That's not, a woman don't have a right to his money. You see what I'm saying? So there's there's good, bad, and ugly, whatever situation. So do people should people have rights or not? That's what it's gonna come down to at the end of the day. Should people actually have rights or should they not have rights? America was set up for you to be the king of yourself. And if, if you're unwilling to allow somebody to be the king of themselves, then you believe somebody else should have rulership over them. I'm never going to say that somebody else needs to have rulership over me because I'm an adult. Period. So I understand I would have to accept some negative things because I have that belief, but it just is what it is. You got to go to God and explain that yourself once you die, not me. I ain't got to explain why you did it, so I'm not concerned with it. Okay, it just is what it is. And what? And what tell, go hold ahead. On, hold on. Before he before he goes, and a lot of people need to understand too that a lot of the rule from the the, the monarchy during uh, during a time up until America <laughs> came into existence was literally based on the divine right of kings, basically convincing the population that they had a divine right to rule over people. So you got to understand that this completely changed that kind of paradigm because it was about literally saying that people had the right, hurt certain inalienable rights, that kings and queens could not diminish and a bridge and so that's why you if you go back during those times you saw a lot of wars being fought <laughs> that led up to this you know 30 years war and all of that that other type of stuff so you had a whole bunch of stuff that was going on during that time which led to the formation of america because they were like nah we ain't feeling that you know what i'm saying and so th that that this this is a whole new paradigm uh in that um and people really need to understand like those inalienable rights were really just a foundation to creating something that on a basic level people had because they still use some of the jurisprudence that came from out of there but they 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 fit it in a way to where the populace of people could intercourse with each other in 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 a fair and equitable manner courts are supposed to be courts are supposed to be set up to um to provide um 
uh, what do you call it? Um, equity, you know, in the court. You're supposed to, there's supposed to be equity in the court. There's not supposed to be one side tipped in the other's favor against the other person. It's supposed to be a neutral venue. But when you bring the politics into this, this is what I've been saying about a lot of these prosecutors and all this BLM stuff. Once they make it political, that's when they taint the process. This is why this Supreme Court leak of these documents is such an egregious act because somebody made it political. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna give truth tell of the floor, then then we'll get Meech, and we got we ain't signing here. <laughs> hey, gentlemen, good morning. Sorry, I was breaking much up earlier. Better, much better. All right, cool, cool, cool. This is a very interesting conversation, as always. Um, couple things that I think need we need to understand to begin with is there is no such thing as an inalienable, inalienable right as we would like to understand it. It goes along with the premise of absolute freedom. It is not practical in the reality that we live in on any level. So first things first, what we know is inalienable rights are rights and rules and procedures that as a community has been approved and marked as valid. So if the community does not see it valid anymore, it is no longer a valid right in this existence. What I don't really know why everybody's having such a problem with this whole, you know, uh, this whole if they decide to turn over Roe v. Wade. Women have ample options to avoid pregnancy before and up until the point they do get pregnant. We got more than after pills, we got abstinence, we got, you know. God knows how many different forms of um, protection that women alone can use, not including what men can do, which is really only like three. So I, I have no idea what the problem is if uh, abortions no longer become legal. Sounds to me like they just want to have a good reason to be lazy. Fine. Okay. Like they say, your body, your choice. But if you're going to have the rule being legal, Men should have equal rights as well. And we all know what that means. And we'll probably get torn to shreds for saying it out loud. Uh, on the other end, what the gentleman just said about the court, um, political. You know, the fact that this got leaked is not, it's not, a, it didn't make it political, right? The court itself is a political animal. It's not supposed to be, but it is. You can't get around that. Whether it got leaked early or whether they voted on it and it came out, it'd be the same situation. Um, there's no political pressure that could be put on the court. There is, well, let me not say political pressure. You know, they they, they have connections in a ton of other things. You know, they yeah, did, want you, did you see the Kavanaugh, Did you see the Kavanaugh hearings? That they were voting him in whether they could have had a videotape. Of Kavanaugh, he would have still got voted in. Uh, you had you had some Republicans that were very no. wobbly. On no, that. no, that that's a show. That's a <laughs> no. show. That, that's not that's not gonna okay. be wobbly. You, you don't wobble on somebody saying, "Hey, did he really do it?" Well, you know what? We're gonna still go with him, even though we got witnesses saying that he did do it. We're, if that were to happen to me or you, we'd be in jail. We wouldn't get the job. He was getting that role whether, because there's certain things they want him to do. He was getting that whether they had an R. Kelly videotape of him doing it or not. They they just had to put on a show. Did you, did, did you, did you see what happened to Bork in the 80s? Yeah, I saw what happened to Bork in the 80s. But when okay, so he didn't get it. No, but that, that's the 80s. That's 40 years ago. Politics is a lot different than 40 years ago. Politics is always the same, no matter what time period. No, these politics is not the same. It's not the same as it was 40 years ago. If you think that, then you need to go study up on politics. No, I've been studying politics. Yeah, money has always flowed around in politics. Now you got dark money. You got you got a a a a a, a, a toothless a federal uh, office that's supposed to enforce political rules that they don't even bother. They don't even pretend to investigate anything. That's not what happened 40 years ago. 
That's why Bork didn't get in 40 years ago, and what's his name got in now. It's a different game now. It's not the same. But in any regards, it, it, I mean, it's all political. But either way, it, it it doesn't change anything for anybody. I don't I don't even know what everybody's barking over. It it, it really everybody's gonna be in the same situation. All right, so she can't get an abortion. She needs to make sure she's walking around with a morning after pill at all times. Whoopee. Wow. <laughs>